Austin Cindric loses his pit crew, but Christopher Bell did not. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Hope you're doing a good this Friday. All right, Austin Cindric lost a tire on pit road, and he has received the old uh, four race suspension for the crew chief Jeremy Bullins, the front tire changer, and the Jack Man. Of course, this rule has been controversial all season. Uh, first off, let's just start off before we get into the other part of it. Uh, the rule itself was what a lot of people wanted changed. They didn't think that suspending a crew, the crew chief and two crew members for four races made any sense. A lot of people, especially a lot of people in the comment section here and myself included, I think a better solution for this is if the tire comes off on pit road or on the racetrack, you retire that car for the day. That makes a whole lot more sense than suspending a crew chief for four races and then suspending a tire changer and a jack man for four races because if you think about it, you've, you've made a more dangerous situation for four more races because you've taken two specialists away from that team who specialize in that. So you're, you're putting in two people who are not used to doing that particular activity. So you've, you've created a dangerous situation for four races. And even when you bring them back, they've had four weeks off. They, they're not back in rhythm yet. So you've created actually a more dangerous situation where a better solution would be to just park them as soon as the tire comes off. They're done for the day. And then you have those specialists there for the next races. You've already cost them all the points uh, that they're going to want to get. So you've deterred them from trying to cut corners and have way too fast pit stops by suspend by basically taking them away taking all their points away for that for that race so that makes a lot more sense safety wise than suspending crew members for four races all right now let's get into the obvious Christopher Bell didn't lose a crew chief and well Austin Cindric did so two weeks ago Christopher Bell drags his tire changer down pit road the tire comes off, he loses the tire, the tire rolls down pit road, and NASCAR deems this not a penalty because it didn't create a safety violation, or it didn't create an unsafe condition, which to me, in my opinion, that is complete and total BS. They have put a gray area in a rule that was black and white, that a rule, a rule that should stay black and white, period, end of conversation. There is no reason to make judgment calls if a tire comes off, a tire comes off, you have to enforce the penalty. Now, I just went over the penalty is stupid and, and you should change that, but you should enforce the penalty regardless of what it is if the tire comes off. That should be a black and white rule because it is fan safety, it is crew safety, it is driver safety. If a car hits that tire, even if the tire is going 50 miles per hour, and a car hits that tire on pit road, it is going to launch that tire and it is gonna hurt a fan or a crew member, it is gonna hurt somebody. So it needs to be a consistent rule across the board. Uh, so Christopher Bell, basically, it, they say it's not an unsafe situation for him to drag his tire changer down pit road and lose a tire. But Austin Sendrick didn't even drag his uh, pit crew member down pit road. He just lost the tire. But he gets penalized because it was a more unsafe condition because reasons. Now, Elton Sawyer, uh, they threw him to the wolves. They made him go out there and give this announcement. The amount of speed that the tire is carrying down pit road did impede another competitor. All of those things go into the decision making. Obviously, the distance that one tire traveled on pit road, the 20 car versus the two car, was significantly different. Elton Sawyer, NASCAR's vice president of officiating and technical expression, said during an inter appearance on Sirius XM radio. So, although the optics are a loss of a wheel on pit road, the two scenarios are quite a bit different. We'll continue to dissect that and look at it again. Again, we don't want a, to over officiate, but tires coming off is a huge safety concern blah 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 and it just can't go on like this you can't have a gray area in this type of rule because when you have a gray area in this type of rule it leads to too much speculation from people that NASCAR is playing favorites like a lot of people feel that NASCAR has played favorites by giving Christopher Bell uh, a wave basically for this like we're not gonna suspend these guys uh, they've had enough trouble on pit road all season we're just gonna let this one ride but then when Austin Cindric it happens to him they say yeah we're gonna suspend him so in that particular situation if you are a Penske fan it looks like they're playing favorites like all oh, Joe Gibbs they, those guys can get away with whatever they want to 
Uh, you know, and so it leads to conversations like that, and that becomes more important as we get into the playoffs, right? When these uh, when these calls start being made in the playoffs, that's when people are really going to lose their mind and lose their faith in the officiating of the sport. Because if you're going to let one team get away with one thing and another team can't get away with one thing, it's going to call into question uh, the legitimacy of your champion in some situations. So NASCAR has to buckle down. They got to get rid of the gray area. Rules like this need to be black and white. And going forward, I hope they fix it. I hope they fix the rule first off to where you just uh, uh, park the car. If you lose a tire, uh, the, the four-race suspension uh, just makes a more dangerous situation. And then I hope they make it a black and white rule again because it does not need to have a gray area. All right, that is all I got on this particular topic. I've been trying to get to it uh, most of this week, but just other news keeps popping up and I just didn't have time to make it. So I finally got to it today on Friday, <laughs> almost a week later. But I did get to it. So if you made it this far, feel free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, and I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, and I appreciate all the guys that are uh, guys and girls that are subscribed now. Uh, if you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. I uh, will talk about it. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.